But if central London is closer to home, then there's a chance for you to see Amal, the giant puppet, for yourself. She's in town for a couple of days. We'll tell you when and where in a moment. But first, Tolua Deoye has been following the creation as she started the day in Deptford. A visual spectacle for children and adults alike. I think it's like really, really cool, the fact that like it walked so far. And I really like how... Like there's like people, there's a person inside it, like controlling it and stuff. I saw the big woman walking around feel like this. It's really good. I thought it was exciting. Brings good vibes to the to the market and to the people. It's nice to see them all out supporting everything. But this giant puppet has a greater purpose than simply entertaining. Refugees are welcome here. Ironically named Little Amal, the puppet is the representation of a nine-year-old Syrian refugee girl. She started her journey in Turkey on the 27th of July and has travelled nearly 8,000 kilometres across Greece, Italy, Germany, Switzerland, Belgium and France en route to London. She is a representative of the kind of welcome that we wish we could see for all refugees and migrants across the UK. I think um, it's really wonderful to see all of these children, you know, come out and, you know, it's the kind of welcome we've seen here in Lewisham. I mean, we are a borough of sanctuary where, you know, we campaign really hard to make um, it a place of welcome and safety for all, regardless of immigration status. Amal's first stop in the UK was the coast in Folkestone. She's made the same cross-channel journey taken so far by more than 17,000 people this year. I think the concept is brilliant. It's been able for me to explain stuff to my son and where his family has come from. These are real people's lives. And many people in our community have, have come past so much adversity. I really like the idea and how, how it shows that being a refugee is not a bad thing. I think it's really inspiring for little children because they get to feel welcome as a refugee. It's emotional because it brings to light, you know, what children, what a lot of people are actually going through. And I hope, you know, the way people have come together for this today, I hope after, you know, they still think about the plight of refugees. Little Amal certainly brought a smile to many people's faces. Her lasting legacy, it's hoped, is that more people will show compassion to refugees arriving in the UK.